What's up, Wichita? I'm Sheila Kennard, the interviewer for today, and we have a woman coming to our mic today that you are going to just not want to tune off. She, is, she has been in a mover and shaker here in Wichita. Not only her, but our whole family, okay? So we have Miss Oletha Fauscado coming to the mic. What's up, Wichita? Here comes Oletha. Good morning, What's Up Wichita. Thank you, Shelley Kennard. And I also want to thank uh, Mrs. Janice Bernine Thacker for her uh, willingness to uh, share what we are doing here in Wichita. Uh, thank you, Levanta Williams, Vice Mayor, for allowing us to be here today. Uh, I am State Senator Oletha Fauscudo. I represent the 29th Kansas, uh, uh, in the Kansas Senate, the 29th Senate District. Uh, which encompasses the majority of um, District 1 uh, with uh, Vice Mayor um, uh, Levanta Williams. And it also includes um, Representative Gail Finney's uh, House District in the Kansas Legislature. Uh, I serve as the ranking member on three key committees in the Kansas Legislature. Uh, I'm the ranking member of the Fed and State Committee, and in that committee, we kind of call it the SIN Committee because we deal with issues like um, gun legislation, abortion legislation, uh, and also um, gambling, gaming issues in the state of Kansas. I also serve as the ranking member of the Local Government Committee um, and I also serve as the ranking member of the Ethics and Elections Committee. Um, that is the committee where our Secretary of State, Chris Kobach, uh, will come before our committee and talk about voting issues. That's another issue that is really uh, important to the people in our Northeast community, inner city, Wichita, Kansas, because it deals with voting rights and a lot of our uh, family members and some of you here today have actually uh, fought for, uh, shed blood, sweat and tears to get the right to vote and we need to make voting easier in the state of Kansas. And uh, so that's an issue that I will be dealing with in the upcoming uh, 2017 legislative session. I also will be dealing, I serve on the Commerce Committee on the Senate Commerce Committee. And I will, I've already pre-filed legislation called the Kansas Reinvestment Act. That is legislation that will help grow and sustain small businesses in our community, in the inner city communities. We need more businesses, we need more jobs so that families can provide um, uh, for their children going to school and just whatever is needed to uh, uh, live comfortably, we need to do that. Um, another piece of legislation that I will be dealing with, uh, and I've pre-filed that legislation as well, and it is Senate Bill 5. And what that will do, uh, of course, uh, during the presidential election, we heard all the issues where individuals were killed um, in, in police-involved shootings. And one in particular we all perhaps saw where uh, a young man and his girlfriend and child were pulled over by a police and he indicated to them that he had uh, a legal gun. He had a, a gun on him. However, he was, he was still killed. Um, this legislation will uh, unify the way that a police stop, uh, in a police stop, how one would let the police officer know that he or she has a handgun, a weapon on them. Um, so we, we, we want to prevent here in Wichita, uh, what's up Wichita, we want to prevent uh, those type of fatalities. So that's um, one issue that is really important. I, I will also be working on legislation um, to uh, repeal or to address the issues of guns on campus. Uh, that's a really big deal and um, I, I know a lot of people are concerned about that one. Uh, another bill that uh, is ongoing with me and part of the reason why I ran for office in the first place in 2003 um, 
was to help revamp the child in need of care system. So many of our children are going into the foster care system. And so this new piece of legislation, although I've worked on, oh, about four or five bills that I've introduced uh, dealing with, uh, at that time, SRS, and now DCF, uh, Grandparents uh, uh, as Caregivers Act, um, and, and this piece of legislation will be called performance-based contracting to whereas those who have those children, they have to be held accountable. They have to let us know where those children are and if those children are being reunited with their families. Um, and so when you say performance-based, it deals with the money. And when you're dealing with the money, you somehow are more accountable to the people. Um, I also um, am honored uh, to be elected the first African-American woman to serve in the Kansas Senate. We have 40 senators in, this, in the Kansas Senate. And unfortunately, we only still have two African-Americans in the Kansas Senate. And, that's myself and Senator David Haley from uh, Wyandotte, Kansas City. We need more people of color in the Kansas legislature. We need more women in the Kansas legislature. Uh, in the Kansas Senate, out of those 40 senators, there are only 13 women. We need more uh, a, a, a collaborative group of individuals coming from a wide variety of uh, uh, areas in the state of Kansas to represent all people. Um, I like to be involved in community as well, not just in Topeka, uh, but I do serve as the ranking member on the Joint Committee on Rules and Regulations for all state agencies. And so we meet all through the year, although our Kansas legislature is only in session uh, for three to four months out of the year. Um, that committee, um, I get to hear from every state agency of how they are implementing our new laws. And uh, so therefore, I get a lot of phone calls from individuals. As a matter of fact, just this morning, um, uh, and that's why I'm running a little late, is that I got a call from a young lady who has a family member who was incarcerated. and. I know Representative Gail Finney talked about some of those issues, and those are some of the issues that our community is plagued by. So many of our people are incarcerated on a higher percentage than others, and unfortunately, they don't have money for good lawyers. And so I'm always open to taking that phone call and making a phone call to the Secretary of the Department of Corrections or helping them with uh, lawyers that might be able to help their cases. Um, also, I'm community driven here in the city of Wichita. So um, I am a member of Power CDC, and we are working on restoring the historical Dunbar Theater. Uh, I want you to um, save the date of July 17th where we're going to have a uh, fun festival. Um, and we want vendors to come. We want to uh, get contributions from those to help us um, uh, revitalize that historic uh, theater in the northeast area of city of Wichita. Um, I want to uh, encourage others to call 267-3036 to be a vendor, to uh, be part of that historic building uh, to whereas individuals can come and display their art like the wonderful Janice Thacker or we can uh, do a fashionetta or a botillion at the Dunbar Theater whereas uh, uh, we can come and just inform and engage our community uh, on a more a regular basis. Um, we are all here part of and have been part of the, the Black Arts Festival here in the city of Wichita. Unfortunately, 
we've not been able to do that for the last couple of years. Uh, I see the Dunbar Theater as a location to whereas we can all gather on any occasion, the African uh, Black Arts Festival, the Juneteenth, and just issues that are important to um, people of color here in the city of Wichita. I am honored to be here today, and I just think this is fantastic. And uh, I'm hoping to see others become involved and engaged in uh, What's Up Wichita. Thank you so much. She got to get a hug, yes. Okay, remember uh, to watch what's up Wichita.net, and we're signing off now from JT Cascade Media Group at Outlook.com. Thank you.